we're talking about impacting the election. We're just a few days away from it. But that video montage there was put together by a pro-life organization. I just think it's so powerful because it shows uh, how close some of these races are. I actually have right here, this is a, a little chart of some of the closest uh, races from the 2015 federal election. Uh, the, you know, the two that were just mentioned there, one lost by 51 votes, one lost by 80 votes. There was another uh, NDP liberal scenario that was um, determined by 70 votes, another, another between a conservative and a liberal where the conservative won by only 110 votes, another one where between an NDP and a conservative in Saskatchewan that where the NDP won by only 143 votes. Like this is this is a couple rows in, in churches, you know, in a lot of these constituencies. So let's talk about this. What can the average person do to impact these races? Well, I hope people are paying attention because this is the Canada's 43rd election. The issues are extremely important. We're at a time of global uncertainty. Uh, we're at a time when there's ex extreme repression of religious rights and freedom of expression. And uh, just getting involved. Uh, walking into that campaign office, if you're, these issues are important to you, and I hope people are paying attention. Your vote counts, so make sure you vote. We've got lots of opportunities to vote. The, uh, there's uh, pre-advanced polling days, lots of them, uh, and there's no excuse for not voting. Uh, and there's no point in complaining afterwards if you didn't vote. Get your friends to vote, and if these issues are important to you, have a coffee party for your candidate. If your candidate, get in there, and like my wife has been in two different campaign offices uh, yesterday, uh, trying to help our own MP and another one in a riding uh, that's a swing riding. But you know, uh, putting up signs, calling people, have a coffee party, invite your friends and neighbors in, support the candidate that has integrity. There is a plumb line. We don't want plastic parliamentarians. We want people that actually have principles that won't be bought uh, by, uh, by or, or bullied by a party leader or thank God for those that stood up to the current leader. Uh, on matters of principle, and that's a good example. But, uh, but people need to get out and support a candidate that supports their ideals, and there's never been a more crucial time. If uh, freedom of religion is important to you and freedom of expression is important to you, even many libertarians who don't carry a faith perspective ought to be concerned, mm -hmm. and uh, frankly, even atheists, because they don't do well uh, when there's not a strong Judeo-Christian basis. They're worried about their rights uh, that get suppressed if there isn't, because. Christians uh, and people with that worldview, frankly, are the most tolerant people, uh, in spite of being cast as something else. So I encourage people to get out, get involved, and make some phone calls for a campaign. A, a donation can help buy some extra advertising, even on local radio that people are listening to. And uh, if, you know, if you haven't made a donation, go and support your, your favorite uh, candidate and um, help move the art sticks, because that's how democracy works. Mm -hmm. and also to understand the landscape for this particular election, I received a piece of literature from one of the political parties recently that said that it's going to be the 50 swing ridings. You know, some of them are in the GTA, some of them are in the GVRD, the Greater Vancouver area. Others are sprinkled across the nation that really will determine, what happens in those ridings will determine who our Prime Minister is and what the power construct is. Mm -hmm. And so getting out and getting involved, I love what you said about volunteering, especially in these swing ridings. Like that video where they said that one volunteer could have made a difference. Exactly. I know that is that is, that is huge. Um, you know, before the break, we talked about SNC Lavalin. We talked about freedom of conscience. But talk to me for a second about the economy. You know, is this something? Should people be um, concerned about the debt? What's happening with the cost of living, taxes? They they sure ought to be because uh, there's promises being bandied about uh, that no one may ever have the opportunity to deliver on. Uh, we're running deficits. Mr. Trudeau ran 52 billion dollars uh, in debt in his uh, three years when the economy was strong. But the, there's, there's very serious signs on the future that our economy, we may get dragged into a global recession. So making promises to spend on all people's pet projects, the people believing those promises may never see them fulfilled because our ability to actually deliver in a time of crisis, even under Mr. Harper's time, 2008, when the last recession hit, we had to change and run a huge deficit for conservatives. A $55 billion deficit was, was huge, but that's what it took to climb out of the hole without disrupting our delivery of health care and education services and uh, you know social services that people depend on. We didn't cut transfers to the province. We managed to budget the, balance the budget, but nobody's promising to balance the budget with except one party. And this is extremely important because the cost of everything is going up. Mm -hmm. And people's resources, uh, if they lose their jobs, there's going to be a lot of people needing help. 
at a time when government will have fewer resources to deal with it. Wow, what a time we're in. So let's talk ABCs right now. For Maybe there's somebody out there who they've never voted, they've never gotten involved in the political process at all, but they want to this time. Where do they start? Well, we're already well into the campaign, but every, there's three key people in a campaign. You know, you got the candidate, uh, the, the financial officer, and the campaign manager, and they've come up with a game plan they're trying to implement, but they all depend on volunteers. Hmm. So volunteers that like working together, that enjoy getting along, people that are working for a common cause are really what makes successful campaigns. Mm -hmm. I was blessed to have a good team working for me in five different elections. And I, my success has largely delivered, on, uh, depended on a whole lot of people getting out and making a difference. Mm -hmm. But you can make a difference on those uh, close ridings especially, you know, uh, doing the right thing, showing up, getting in the campaign office, bringing somebody in, talking to somebody about the issues who might be distracted and hasn't been paying attention, uh, you can make a huge difference. What does somebody do if they don't know where to go to vote? Or let's say, you know, somebody out there that's watching this show, let's say they're, uh, they don't have a car or they're, you know, they're a little bit limited in their ability to get around. They need some help, but they really want to be a voice. They want to yes. vote. What do they do? They, do they just call the campaign office? Do they call Elections Canada? Uh, yes, the campaign offices are equipped to help you, uh, you know, get to, get to the polls. And uh, there's lots of opportunities. Elections Canada has, has expanded the opportunities available to people to get out and vote in any polling station, frankly, in the country. Uh, which never used to be possible for your candidate, even if you're visiting, uh, you're out, away from your province in your home polling area. So there's really, uh, there's lots of help available and, uh, you know, candidates will be willing to help get somebody, drive them to the polling station if need be. It's very important to have identification because you need to know who your voters are. So, uh, so that's part of the electoral process and they'll help you work through all of that. And so does somebody need to be registered in advance to vote or can they just show up with the proper ID and register right on site? Well, apparently that's all changed in the last few years uh, and now they can actually show up with the support of, uh, of a, uh, a witness to testify who they are and they, they live in the neighborhood and so on and actually get registered. So the Elections Canada website and uh, also wanted to mention for those of you that are watching there's another website that's been put together on it for that's the number for mycanada.ca and on that website there's an email uh, you might be somebody you're maybe you're out there you're like you know what I have no idea how to navigate the system I don't know who's who in the zoo I would sure love to talk to somebody who could maybe give me some points and some tips so we want to recommend that website to you on it for mycanada.ca there's somebody on the other line there that would be happy to help you and the website itself has some tips and protocols as well so in the last few minutes here James we are a few days away from going to the polls from voting why don't you look into the camera here and what is your admonition to Canadians at this critical time for our nation well there's lots going on in the world it's a, it's a bad time to be distracted uh, pay attention um, you know you have may have views that you picked up from here or there but make a little extra effort to find out where the truth is we're in an information age but also a disinformation age you don't want to be distracted by things that, are, um, that aren't going to impact your future, but your taxes sure are, uh, and the cost of living in Canada sure is, and a government that fails because we, they haven't prepared for economic problems that are coming, it isn't fiscally responsible, that's going to affect your, your future. So I really encourage people to pay attention to what's happening, and I think most Canadians actually uh, want to see things better in their own communities, and they want to see uh, their own lives improved. And if you pay attention to what's being offered, avoid pie in the sky things that are being talked about, and, and we'll all do better in Canada uh, and see our country move, move to retain the great history we've had in Canada. We've got something worth defending here in the, what was the Dominion of Canada because our system has worked very well, but it's in peril right now, so let's get together do the right thing. Wow, well said. Thank you so much, Mr. Lenny, for being with me today. And I want to encourage you guys again to check out that website for, or that's on it for the number four, mycanada.ca. Also, track with me. If you have the internet, track with me on Facebook. We're going to be putting videos out there, voter tips, where the parties stand on different issues. All of that will be on our Facebook page and on our website portals as well. So again, that's on it for the number four, mycanada.ca. Thanks, James, for being here. Pleasure.